Some viewers may find this disturbing. Your discretion is advised. What's good everybody, it's Destin Choice, a watching Choice TV. So today we are all gathered here today to cancel the fuck out of the the cockroach girls, the city girls, whatever the fuck you want to call them, the Kiki, do you love me girls, who, who everybody has been talking about this year. And in case you guys didn't know, some offensive tweets of theirs have resurfaced. Just like every other creator, every other creator's 2018 had just been the year that everybody's racist, uh, ho offensive, homophobic tweets have been resurfacing. And at this point, my advice to everybody is this. Delete your Twitter before you get famous, before some shit that you tweeted in the fifth grade blows up and people blow it out of proportion. Delete your fucking Twitters right the fuck now. If you feel like you tweeted some problematic shit, delete it right now. Luckily for me, I ain't never use fucking Twitter because i never seen the hype about it. I kept my shit to myself. So please, I advise everybody watching this, if you said some fucked up shit on Twitter, delete that shit immediately. Oh, I forgot. My egg rolls with my sweet and sour sauce right here. And the lady put chopsticks in here, so I guess people eat egg rolls with chopsticks or something. Mm. Oh yeah, for those of y'all wondering how I stay fit, I drink lots of water. And I take apple cider vinegar pills because I don't like drinking that nasty ass shit. Well, in case you guys didn't know, one of the city girls, everybody's just labeling it the city girls because one of them said some fucked up shit, and that's how it be. Any fucked up thing you do, whatever's attached to you or anybody attached to you, gets blamed and penalized for it. One of the city girls, Kamisha, Karkisha, Kaka Misha, Carnation Milk, whatever the fuck her name is, she's the one who actually tweeted something very offensive. She tweeted something that pissed off the black community, the Haitian community, and the gay community. And you all know, the worst community to piss off is the black community and the gay community because they will drag the fuck out of you on Twitter. Honestly, I know a lot of people bump the city girls, a lot of people fuck with them. I personally just don't see the hype at all. Like, I don't see the hype about their music. Every time I hear they shit, I'm just like... So, Cardi B got... Instagram thotties and strippers thinking that they can make music now. I don't listen to that motherfucking trash. I'll just stick to my Ashanti and Brandy and Lil Kim and Tupac and all that extra shit that I'm listening to. I'm 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 good love destroy. Now one thing she tweeted that a lot of people are giving her a lot of shit for is this. She tweeted it's so hot outside, I'm gonna be looking like one of y'all Haitian hoes. Haitian hoes ugly and jealous. Damn bitch, what the fuck did Haitians do to you? The crazy part is, she's been tweeting shit like that for years because the tweets I just read are from 2015. These tweets are from 2013. And she tweets, Y'all hoes be fucking and sucking these stink ass Haitians for them petty ass checks. Got them feeling like they the shit. Where can I get some good Haitian food? Ah, ah, T cockroach. Ah, you little cockroach. You you don't you don't fuck with Haitians, but you'll eat our fucking food. Cancel this dirty ass bitch. She also tweeted, Y'all Haitian bitches take y'all ass to Haiti. Whoosh. <laughs> Whoa. She also tweeted this. She also deleted most of these tweets, but she also said this. Dark skin hoes are evil, black, and ugly. Yikes. She also tweeted, Boy, oh boy, if I ever see any type of gay shit in my son, I'ma beat that boy so bad. Yikes. Now, out of all these fucking offensive, disrespectful, caca head ass tweets she tweeted, the Shade Room only posted the one that people perceived as homophobic, which was this. And her response was, 
I didn't diss gays. Me personally, I wouldn't want my son to be gay. I don't know what's so disappointing about that. I mean, considering that 95% of your fan base are black people and the LGBT community, most of your fans are black or gay, you dumb bitch. What do you expect? So honestly, I see it like this. People perceive that comment as homophobic. Do I perceive it as homophobic? I feel like if somebody doesn't want their child to be gay, that's on them. I know a lot of people who say they don't want their child to be gay, but they have no problem with gay people. And that's their personal opinion. That's their opinion. People are entitled to that. But people are overlooking the I'm going to beat my son's ass if he is gay type shit. Like, that's fucking horrible. And then some people, oh my god, I was reading some of the shade room comments, and I was reading some of the most caca, most horrendous comments ever. People were saying shit like, oh, well, it's not that serious. Oh my god, shut up. Okay, so what? She wants her son to be a man. What's wrong with that? Oh my god. Oh my god, what's the issue? I don't see no issue. She wants her son to be natural. That's enough internet for me for today. People just need to stop tweeting racist, disrespectful, homophobic, and insulting things. Because even I would know better than to tweet some shit like that. Her being young is no excuse. Because people say, It was 2013! People grow up over time! Y'all want to cancel everybody! Okay. Let's look up how old Kakai Misha Karmisha is from the City Girls. People grow over time. Let's see how old her ugly ass was when she tweeted these things. How old is Karmisha from the City Girls? She's 24. She's also from my city, too. A lot of people don't know this, but we grew up in the same area. But she's 24 years old. So she tweeted this back in 2013, 2015. That's like, what, like three, four years ago, four years ago? So most likely, she was 20 years old when she tweeted a lot of these things. Okay, so update. Kaka, Misha, Karaisha, Isha, whatever the fuck her name is, finally came forth and apologized for those y'all who don't know. This is a quick update. She apologized and basically wrote this long ass shit. Unfortunately, I can't fucking read cursive, but luckily she wrote in the caption, to everyone I may have offended, I apologize. We are all one. We are all equal. Love everybody. Let's move on. I'm older and wiser now. Let's focus on the future and leave the past behind us. Thank you. <sighs> Honestly, she at first didn't even want to apologize. She said that she wasn't trying to be bullied or butchered into apologizing. But it's like, why apologize now? She should have just did exactly what Offset did. Remember when Offset got in trouble for them homophobic ass lyrics he did? Offset literally said, I'm sorry, I'm not sorry. She would have been better off saying that shit. Okay, whatever you say. Even at 12 years old, I would have known better than to tweet some bullshit like that. So I see it like this, she has no excuse, and she didn't even apologize for it. Her excuse was, okay, I don't care, y'all not about to bully me, oh my god, not that serious, y'all don't have jobs. Don't get mad at me, bitch. I didn't tell you to tweet that shit. It's not my fault. It's not my fault you're, you're, you're an Uncle Ruckus bitch. People gonna support who they want to support. The Shade Room, obviously they're on the fucking payroll, and they only posted the things that are perceived as homophobic. Not the dark skin shaming thing, because maybe they're on the payroll or whatever, but it is what it is. The City Girl's been canceled for me ever since that Kiki Do You Love Me shit broke the fucking internet. What do y'all think? Do y'all think she's homophobic for the things that she said? Are y'all gonna cancel the City Girls for those horrible things? Because the things about her attacking Haitians, that was fucked up. That dark skin comment she made, I'm like, oh god, bitch. The bitch that's standing right next to you is dark skin. Her excuse was, my hairstylist is gay, I have dark skinned friends, and I'm like, okay. Okay. A lot of people were saying, it's not that serious, y'all doing too much, but let's say the city girl was white. Let's say Carisha was black, was, was white, wasn't black, but let's say she was white. And let's say she tweeted some shit like, oh my god, I'd be so mad if my daughter wanted black dick, I'd beat the shit out of her until she takes white dick. What did you do to that? Now, I know some people might say, Racism and sexuality aren't the same thing. Well, you're right. Sexuality and race aren't the same thing, but both of them fall under the category of things that you can't change. You can't change your sexuality, and you can't change your race. You don't act to be a certain sexuality, and you don't act to be a certain race. Both sexuality, people who are gay, lesbian, and people who are black, Middle Eastern, or Asian, 
those people they didn't ask they didn't ask for it. it it's something that just just happened they didn't ask for it and both of those things fall into the categories of things that are discriminated ridiculed picked on and picked apart so if anything it's all funny games until somebody's talking to your ass had she made a race joke it would have been it would have been oh my god cancel this bitch but because it was about homophobia then it's oh it's not that serious it's not that serious let it go or because it's about skin pigment it's oh it's not that serious let it go let it go look I don't stand none of these uncle ruckusism ass motherfuckers I don't care about none of these bitches fuck their music their music is trash I don't see the hype or I don't stand these niggas but I just my thoughts about the situation so much I think about her comments and her ignorance down below in the comment section and yeah that's that like, comment, and subscribe. Choice out this bitch. I wish they would just shut their ass up. All you non singing bitches, non rapping niggas, I wish you would just shut up. Cause if you've been through a